Hello my dear beautiful bastards and welcome to No Man's Sky. I streamed this game yesterday and I am very sorry if you were a part of the stream because it was kind of shit. But uh, you know, <laughs> the game uh, is not very optimized, it's optimized for little babies. And little babies do not play games, so that is a little bit of a problem. But I have played the game for about 10 hours now and I have done quite a few th please, 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 Mayday, May Houston. Houston, we have a problem. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, I gotta... Uh, please, can I land? Let's try to land somewhere. I'm just gonna spam E. You just gotta spam E until you can land. Maybe I can land over there. Oh, I wanna land over here on this little island. So, I have a big ship. Kinda. My ship is kinda big, so what is my frame rate like? My frame rate, it's kinda terrible, but it's alright considering uh, everything. So we're gonna go down there because uh, a rare technology is down there. This is a very toxic planet. Well, it's not really toxic. It has these uh, these rains that are toxic. This rain is very, very toxic. And this is my ship. I have 23 slots on my ship. It was kinda expensive. 1.5 million units, which is uh, quite a bit. And I have 2 million units right now, because this planet that I'm on right now, it has uh, pearls. Some sort of pearls, green pearls. Well, they are uh, yellow, but on, on this little thing they are green. And you can sell them for 30,000 each. And I managed to collect like at least 50, I think. And then I just kept selling and kept uh, getting more money. So the exosuit is over here. This is uh, the exosuit, 17 slots in this bitch and we have the jetpack booster over here we i don't really have anything i bought it as it is it is a very very strong ship when fighting those space motherfuckers in space i managed to destroy them very very easily and over here we have the multi-tool 10 slots it's very nice the short burst adapter the short burst adapter check it out check this out it's fucking awesome it's awesome i love it so we are gonna go ahead and uh, get to this abandoned building. Hopefully I will be able to get there in one piece. I don't have anything that can help me breathe underwater. Found a fish! Oh ho! Oh, it's a predator. That's bad. That's bad, please don't hit me. Oh, it's going after me! Please don't... Oh, okay, please leave me alone. Leave me alone. Luckily the... The jetpack is very good, so he's probably gonna leave me alone. Yes, he's leaving me alone. So let's get down here. Reap or reef. I will drown. Yep, I will probably drown. Debris. Please interact. Ah, oh, please. Okay. It looked like a wound on the world. Crimson and ragged edged, like something that once lived but was then torn asunder. I should have stayed away. Had I the senses to taste the air of this planet, I imagine it would have reeked with some kind of alien fetor, and nothing could stall my curiosity. Was it dead? Where I touched it, the surface was moist and yielding. It seemed to become motile then, crawling on a mat of slow cilia, moving from me. I should have left it alone. Abs I absolutely do not understand half of those words, but... Uh, okay. Oh? Aeration membrane theta, increasing ability to swim underwater for extended periods of time. Okay, I gotta get the hell away from here before I drown. Get up, get up, get up! Quickly, quickly, my friend, quickly, do not die! Death, death is soon gonna happen, please, get up. Are we up? Oh. Here we go, we're back at the ship, let's get into it. The storm is coming. This planet really sucks because there's so many storms. Always storm after storm after storm. Well, fuck off, you and the storm. But it is pretty because it's a water planet, kinda. There's a lot of water and it has those pearls. Pearls are very nice. Very, very uh, beneficial to my account. A lot of units. We're gonna get off the planet right now. But, uh, you know, the more you play the game the easier it is to do multiple things because you have access to a lot of uh, lot of technologies you have access to a lot of money you know you can move around quite a bit so technically i don't know what to do right now you know technically if we're gonna talk about technicalities this game is shit but i like talking about technicalities and uh, 
I don't know what to do right now. I thought that the Atlas interface was uh, somewhere nearby, but uh, I guess it is not. I have no idea. So we're gonna go back to the space station and uh, see what happens. And here we are back at the space station. Look at the warrior. Uganxia! Uganxia! So let's check out the galactic trade market. So as you can see here, Gravitino balls. They are very, very valuable. But what I actually got, I don't think I can sell it here. Oh, Gecknip, what is that? Where did I collect that? I have no idea, but I'm gonna sell it because I don't need it. Uh, the Sack Venom is also very, very good. The Sack Venom, the Gravitino ball, and the other balls that I had, but I can't sell them here, I guess. There, there is probably a planet with the Gravitino balls, but I have not encountered it yet. And this is... Uh, the starship inventory so I basically don't have anything of value and I suppose that I should go to another system I do have the the warp cell so the hyperdrive is working so we can go to another system and check it out see uh, what's going on over there here we go let's go uh, there are three planets here maybe the atlas interface will be here I don't really know I don't really care either because it doesn't really matter because once you get going, like I said, you get access to a lot of shit and it gets relatively simple to do stuff. But still, the scale of the game is just absolutely crazy. There's there's so many planets, so many things all over the place. But the problem with this is that because there's a lot of planets, it is very difficult to actually uh, find a lot of differences among the planets you visit. So you basically have to visit like 100 planets in order to find maybe three that are drastically different from one another. So I think that that is the biggest problem that people are having with the game. But that's the, the exact same thing that the developers talked about. You know, it's very difficult to make a procedurally generated game where the, the stuff is constantly different, especially if it's a large scale game. Basically, you need to play a lot to experience a lot. You really need to play this game for at least 20 hours before you can figure out do you like it or not. If you are going to give reviews of it. The small creature is busy adding up trade profits when I appear. Its eyes open wide in anticipation of our first contact and it rubs its fingers together greedily. It pecks emphatically at the monetary figures on its pad, then bounces up and down. I can't help but notice that it smells amazing. Nice. Gotta have some nice deodorant, man. But it's a frog. A frog that smells nice. Huh, interesting. So, uh, I'm gonna give him money. Ha! He likes money. That's the thing. Deflection Enhancement Sigma. I do I not have this already? I'm not really sure, but... Either way, this is a new place. Let's see what is the special item here. Maybe I will be able to farm, farm things up. Suspension fluid, really? Titanium as well. Ooh. Vortex cube and night crystals. Holy shit. This is the first time I'm seeing four items being uh, starred. Oh man. Oh man, this place. It only has three planets. So, you know, it's it might not have a lot of stuff, but the planets are huge. So, it probably has a shit ton of stuff. We can get on this planet here. This sounds like a Nigerian planet. There's probably a Nigerian prince on this planet, so we're gonna go check out and see. Maybe we can find some night crystals. I have not encountered those yet. Here we go. Let us land. Oh, what is this? Is this Emeril? This might be Emeril. Irradiated winds. Sentinels limited. Flora full and fauna medium. Nice. That means that it has a lot of stuff. Emeril. It is Emeril. Emeril is super cool. But this planet is toxic. Which is bad. I don't like toxic planets. I have n absolutely no protection from toxic planets. So, that's bad. What is this flying? Birdies! Birdies! Let me scan you. Let me scan you, you dirty bird. Yeah, it's very difficult to scan birds. They are uh, very evil little things. Yeah, it's, there's... There are... What the hell? Holy shit, look at this. Holy shit, look at this. Oh, I have found... I have found 
Tentaclar's uh, Overlord. This is the Tentaclar's Overlord species. Look at the, they have this brain and they have oh, it's so cool. The flying spaghetti monster, the Overlord of Tentaclar. Oh, I love them. Oh, can I be one of you? Can I be the flying spaghetti monster? I want to be a flying spaghetti monster. Let's fly together, my friends. Let us fly into the heavens. Oh, I love it. I have I have not I have not encountered an animal like this before. What do you need? Slow down. What do you need? What do I need to feed you? Iron? I don't have enough iron. Okay, I'm going to feed you. Here, okay, I'm gonna collect some iron. And I'm gonna feed them. Because I want to be a friend of the glorious, the most glorious flying spaghetti monster. Here you go, friend. You are so happy right now. I'm happy too. Hey, let's be happy together. Flying spaghetti monster. Of all the of all the moments I could have recorded, I decided to record when when I found the flying spaghetti monster. Very cool. I should probably try to find some caves. Is this a cave? Nice. Got it. Found. Found a cave. Oh, gold. Gold and plutonium. Lovely. But uh, is there anything else? I kind of want those special items because the special items are worth a lot and they make me feel very, very nice. Make me feel super nice. And you know, these caves, they are very, very interesting. If you take the time to look at them, instead of just, you know, going through them, like a mindless bastard. If you look through them, they are very, very cool. And it is atmospheric. They are atmospheric, you know? You can't really say they are that they are not. So, the fact that it is all randomly generated, and on billions and billions of planets, it's just a very, very cool thing to experience. But I did get lost several times in these caves. You know, I roam through the caves and just wander around like a stupid idiot and then I just I just get lost. I reach a dead end and then I absolutely have no idea how to get out of it. And I do not have that thing that that uh, you know shoots through the ground. So <laughs> whoops. I'm probably getting lost as we speak. But it doesn't matter because it's lovely. Found it. I found a way out! Holy shit! Oh, man! Finally! <laughs> oh, that was the... The longest trip ever! The longest cave trip ever! I thought I was gonna die in there! Oh, man! But it's fine, look at this one! This looks like a... Like some sort of a fly! And not a tree! <laughs> a fly on a tree! But yeah, uh, we're gonna go back on the ship and uh, we're gonna get the hell away from here. I still don't know uh, what am I supposed to do. I don't know how to get to the Atlas. I thought that I had the notification for it. I kinda... Th that was uh, my plan. Kinda. For this video. But I guess... Uh, I guess I'm too stupid to have proper plans. So we have 4,000 plutonium in the ship. And we can sell it for... 160,000, but I know th of one star system where plutonium is the starred, the starred piece, so titanium, I have a, a decent amount of titanium, the best way to get titanium, if you didn't know, is to destroy sentinels, so if you find sentinels on a planet, just start attacking them, but make sure you can, that you can run away, because if they kill you, then you're fucked, but uh, I should probably do that. Now that I think about it, yeah, I'm gonna do that. But that would be all for now, for No Man's Sky. I just wanted to make a quick video where I uh, talk about the game a little bit. You know, not too much, not too little. And, you know, luckily we have encountered the flying spaghetti monster, so not all is lost. At least it was a little bit interesting. So, uh, yeah, that would be all. Please do let me know what do you think about the game. And, uh, you know, aside from the technical problems the game as a game, I think it is the best exploration game that exists because of the sheer size of it. There's not a lot of things happening, but you need to experience the game enough for more stuff to happen. Because this, the closer you get to the center of the universe or the galaxy, center of the galaxy, the 
the more interesting things happen, the more uh, varied the planets are. You get extreme planets, you get completely barren planets that, that have absolutely nothing. I'm gonna keep playing it and I will make some uh, different types of videos. Not really sure yet, but they will add base building, so I will definitely keep playing it because of the base building aspect. That will be useful once it comes out, because you guys really like when I build stuff, so it will be useful to build stuff in No Man's Sky as well. But that will be all for now. So thank you very much for watching, my dear beautiful bastards. I have been better, dear glorious lord, and may the blessings of Petardia eternally touch your butt.